Hi everyone, today we are going to see digital circuits week 5 and this is Perilla. So the 3 to 8 decoder is implemented the function f, the expression for f is. So here they have given 3 to 8 uh, decoder, this is 3 to 8 decoder. Uh, here the output is going to be the inverted mode. So the inverted output is connected to your NAND gate. So this is going to be the uh, value is going to be your main term. So I can write the main term as 0, 2, 3 and 7. So your f is equal to summation m of 0, 2, 3, 7. Identify the output y of the following circuit. So they have given 4 into uh, 1 max. So here a and b is going to be the selector lines and c is going to be the output. So I am going to use 8, con 8 variable corner map. So since uh, a and b is uh, going to be the selector lines, if the value is that the a b value can be uh, 0, 0. If it is 0, 0, then D0 will be selected. If it is going to be 0, 1, then D1 will be selected. If it is 1, 0, D2 will be selected and 1, 1, D3 will be selected. So here I have taken AB this side and C this side for my convenience. So since A is B is this side, so 0, 0, 0 is 0, 0, 0, 1 is 1. So in earlier we have uh, get uh, we have used this a this side b c this side so the cell value is different. So since it is going to be a b this side c is this side so 0 0 0 0 0 1. So 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. So now uh, as per this uh, circuit they have given here as uh, 0 0 now it will uh, select d naught so d naught value is going to be c. So I am writing the output and then I am just going to fill the k map. So here it is d one now that is zero one so d one is going to be c bar so it's going to be c bar and then if it is d two now the value is one that is one zero and for one one is d three the value is going to be zero so if it is zero now both will be zero if it is one now both will be one and if it is c bar now the corresponding value will be one the opposite is going to be zero and here it is c so the c value is one here it is going to be zero so the main terms are 1, 2, 4 and 5. The two in outputs of the following circuits are A and B. Write the correct combination among the following choices. So this is the 3 to 8 decoder and here they have used the R, R, uh, uh, gate B and A. So the B can be written as summation 1, 2, 4 and 7. And here your A. So A uh, in a... Um, Mean term is 3, 5, 6 and 7. So now we can use your corner map to get the uh, equation here. So here it is x, y, z. So it is 0, 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 1, 2, 4 and 7. So now I am going to group this uh, main term as an individual. So this is going to be the value. So how can I write this? The value is going to be uh, x bar, y bar, z bar and this is going to be x bar, y, z bar and this is x, y bar, z bar and this is x, y, z. I am going to take x bar commonly out for this two term and x commonly out for these two terms. So, I will be getting your uh, y bar, z plus y, z bar. Here it is y bar, z bar plus y, z. So, this is your x r, this is your x naught. So, I will be getting your x exclusive order of y exclusive order of z. Your b is x exclusive order of y exclusive order of z. Now, similarly for a, I will be getting your uh, 3, 5, 6, 7. So, 3, 5, 6 and 7. So, I can go for this pair. I can go for this pair and this pair. So, totally 3 pairs are there. So, the value is going to be... Uh, uh, So I can write this as y z plus this is going to be your x uh, z plus this is x y. So this is going to be your a. So which is nothing but your difference of full ladder. Right. And this is going to be the sum of full ladder. So, this is B is sum of full ladder and A is your difference of your full ladder. So, A and B represents the carry and sum of the full ladder.
the number of select lines for uh, 3 to 1 multiplexer is. So, this is going to be the general block diagram of the multiplexer. It is going to have n input line. Selector list line is going to be n. So, we will be saying this as a uh, n to 1 multiplexer. So, this n to 1 um, can also be written as, so your n can also be written as 2 power m for selector lines, where m is your selector lines. Here they have given 32. So, 32 can be written as 2 power 5. So, how many selector lines? It's going to be 5 selector lines. Identify the following circuit. So, this is the following circuit they have given. So, uh, you have one input, S0, S, S1. So, here is going to be our input data input and S0 as well as S1. So, with this one, I can write your D0 as D in S0 bar, S1 bar. D1 as D in S0, S1 bar. And here it is going to be uh, D in S0 bar and then your S1. And then D in is going to be S0, S1. So, this is nothing but your D multiplexer, 1 to 4 D multiplexer, 1 input, 4 output and then 2 selector lines. Octal 2 binary encoders are made by 3. So, this is the uh, circuit for the uh, octal 2 binary encoder. So, it is made up of R gates. So, how many R gates? 3 R gates. So, R gate. In binary coder decimal system, the decimal number 81 is represented by in BCD, each and every uh, digit is represented by its corresponding uh, binary value. Here it is 8, this is 1. For 8, it is going to be 1. For 8, it is going to be 1, 0, 0, 0. And then for 1, it is going to be 0, 0, 0, 1. So, this is going to be the BCD value. The XS3 code of decimal 7. XS3. So, XS3 is, uh, you have to add 3 to the Verna decimal value. So, this is going to be 7. So, 7 will be added with your 3. That is your XS3. That is 10. So, the binary value of 10 is going to be 1010. So, this is the XS3 value of 7. The 4 cross 1 multiplexer is shown in the figure below. The output is, so here, you know, as that uh, we saw in your uh, second uh, problem, this is going to be the same. So, here it is 4 cross 1 multiplexer. You have... Uh, two selector lines that is going to be A and B. So, if your A and B is 0, 0 now, C bar, then, oh, sorry, this is going to be I1, I0, I2, I3. So, if this is going to be the same, so for I0, I1, the value will C, I2, I3, the value will C bar. So, so your uh, I1, A, A, A and B is going to be 0, 0. So, 0, 0 now, your C should get selected. And then for I1, 0, 1. So, 0, 1 now C. And I2 is 1, 0, C bar. And for I3, 1, 1, it's C bar. So, if I want to get C now, C value, that is 1 value will be 1. This way should be 0. Here I want to get this 1 value, 0. And this should be C bar. So, C bar now, this bar value will be 0, will be 1. This is 0 and this will be 1, this is 0. So, how can I write this uh, function here? So, this is nothing but I can group these two and then I can group these two. So, if it's so, if I'm going to group these uh, two here, so what is the value? This is going to be A C bar. So, this is going to be A here uh, uh, and then this is going to be C bar. Then here this is going to be uh, this is going to be your plus A bar C. So, A C bar plus A bar C is nothing but uh, A X nor, sorry, this is nor uh, X or. So, this is X or. So, A exclusive or of C. The number 726 would be represented in 824. 8421 code or BCD code. So, this is BCD, you know, I told that each and every digit should be represented by its uh, binary value. This is going to be 4 bit binary value. For 7, 0, 1, 1, 1. 6 is 0, 1, 1, 0. 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0. So, this is the binary BCD code.
So this is the multiplexer they have given to it into 1 max. They ask you to find the output of the circuit. So here they have given the selector line as, as 1. So 1 now I1 value will be moved to the output. That is now the value will be 1. Here they have given the selector as 0. So I0 value x will be moved as the output. It is given as a I1. Here the value is 1. So I1 will be selected. What is your I1? X. So the output will be X. The equivalent gray code of the binary number. So how to get the gray code of this one is. So I have write, written this uh, value 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. How to write the binary code is. The first MSB should be written as such. Then the next bit should be addition of the previous bit. So 1 plus 0 is going to be 1. 0 plus 1 is going to be 1. And then 1 plus 1 is going to be 0. So this is going to be the breakout value. The addition of 3 uh, 4 bit number will be implemented by uh, how uh, no, uh, this is going to be I have uh, 3 4 bit uh, number. So here how can I, I, I add the, the thing here. So this is going to be one four bit uh, uh, adder here. So I'm going to add the first number four bit with the second number four bit. So this is going to be your A and this is going to be B. So after this is going to be four bit adder. So here your input is going to be C naught and which is going to be always zero. And you'll get your output and then you have get your, you'll get your sum. That is going to be your S. Then what happens? This is going to be your um, uh, S, right? So next, what happens? The sum of this one will be added with the third number. C. That is the thing here is A plus B plus C. That is the addition of three four bit number. So A B. Then that with that sum, your C will be added. So you'll get your sum. Final sum. So here this carry will be given as an input. So here you'll get your output. C out. So you need two. This is going to be one four bit adder. This is going to be another four bit adder. So totally you are in need of two minimum two four bit uh, adder. How many minimum multiplexes is required to implement the function? So here they have given this uh, three uh, variable. So this two variable will be your selector and one variable will be your input. So if this is going to be the thing here, so you need 4 into 1 max. So two multiplexes now 4 into 1 max. So here this is going to be your A, B, C. So here they have given the min term as 0, 1, 2 and 5. So 1, 1, both are 1. The output will be 1. And here this uh, C bar, C bar, that is 0, or C bar is going to be 1 so it's going to be c bar and here both are 0 so the value is 0 here what happens the c value is 1 so the value is going to be c so we'll be using your uh, 4 into 1 max so here the value is a b so your d uh, bar that is d naught will be 1 and d1 will be c bar and d2 will be c because 1 0 and d3 is going to be 0 so you here you need one uh, multiplexer, 4 into 1 max, 1, 4 into 1 max. The Boolean function f is implemented as shown in the figure using two input multiplexers. So here I say that if your uh, um, value, that is your selector is going to be B, right? So if the B value is 0, you know, you will select your C, right? If your B value is 0, you know, the C will be the output. Else, if your B value is 1, your C bar will be the output. So, this is going to be the output of this first max, right? And this enable, right? If this enable value is 0, you know, so your 0 value will be selected. So, you have two values. So, he, he, this is going to be the enable now. If this enable is going to be 0, then this, bit, this uh, 0 will be selected. Or, if this enable value is this, then what happens? A will be selected. So this is going to be F. So your F value is equal to A B bar C plus 
A, B, C bar. I hope I am clear. So, if your B value is 0, now C will be selected. So, B bar C. If B value is 1, C bar will get selected. So, B, C bar. So, that will be given uh, as you will get as output as a first gate. Now, the E value is, this is going to be your E value. This is going to be your E value. The function F will be E bar into your 0 plus E into A. So, where E is nothing but this one. So, this into A. So, multiply it, you will get your value. So, F is equal to A B bar C plus A B C bar. Thank you guys. Subscribe my channel for automatic update. Have a nice day.